Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the operation of the solar cells. This solar cell device is nothing but a pn junction device and it operates on the photovoltaic effect. So, let us see that solar cell is a photovoltaic cell we can say that and the principle by which the solar cell is operating is known as the photovoltaic effect. This photovoltaic effect means it is a conversion of light energy into voltages. Now, solar cell is basically a p-n junction diode with no voltage has been applied across the junction and the load is terminated across the junction. Now, let us see what will be the operation of the solar cell. So, for that let us take a p-n junction diode So, this is a p-n junction diode where this is the junction between the p-type material and n-type material and there will be a depletion region and there will be a depletion region in both n-type and p-type. Now, let us connect the p type and the n site by an register R L. Now, let the light is incidenting on this depletion layer. So, this is the light that is incidenting on this depletion layer. Since the light is incidenting on this depletion layer, so the light energy means the photon particle energy will be absorbed by the semiconductor and hence some amount of electrons and whole pair will be generated inside the depletion region. Now, as we know that inside the depletion region, there will be a built-in electric field directed from N to P. So, this is the built-in electric field inside the depletion region and due to this built-in electric field, the electron tries to move in the opposite direction of the built in electric field and the hole will move in the same direction of the built in electric field. So, electrons will move towards the n side and the hole will move towards the p side. So, this will be the phenomena or the movement of the electron and holes that are generated due to the incident of the light. So, we can say that the total current direction 
will be in the direction from n side to p side that is i photon. So, i photon is the current due to the incident of the light on the depletion region of the solar cell. So, this i photon will come outside of the solar cell and will flow in the wire. So, during the flow of i photon through the R L, there will be a voltage drop produced across the R L and the polarity of the voltage drop will be positive and negative. So, this is the voltage drop that has been produced across the R L due to the I photon and this voltage drop is called the terminal voltage across the solar cell. Generally, the terminal voltages across the solar cell is of the order of 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 voltages. The maximum terminal voltage of the solar cell is V max that is equals to 0.5 volt. Solar cells are generally fabricated using the silicon material. So, material that is used is generally silicon. So, in this way the solar cell can produce a terminal voltage by the incident of light because the incident of light is producing a current I photon that is flowing from N side to P side. Now, the terminal voltage of the solar cell is always less than the contact potential. So, we can write that the terminal voltage that is V will be always less than the contact potential VBI or built in potential. This terminal voltage can be practically measured by the voltmeter from the outside. Now, this solar cell can be used as the energy producer in satellites. During the night, the power requirement by the satellite will be obtained from the rechargeable batteries. So, if we want to write the open circuit voltage of the solar cell, then it will be denoted as V O C and this V O C is nothing but V T L N 1 plus I L by I S or we can write V O C is equals to V T L N 1 plus j of l j of s. So, this is the main equation of the open circuit voltage of solar cell that is V O C, where I s is the reverse saturation current and j s is the reverse saturation current density and I l is the solar current and j l is the solar current density. So, we know that the I s value can be written as I s is equals to A q into d p into n i square divided by L p into n d plus a q d n 
n i square divided by l n into n a. So, this will be the i s that we already know where d p is the diffusion coefficient for the holes that has been produced l p is the diffusion length of the holes and n d is the donor concentration and n a is the acceptor concentration and n i is the intrinsic carrier concentration. Now, generally every solar cell will have two properties that should be remembered for a solar cell. The first property, the first property is the open circuit voltage. So, this open circuit voltage is denoted by V O C. So, what will be the V O C in physical meaning? That means, if we have a solar cell like this and this is the junction between P and N, then if I disconnect the R L, then the current flowing from the N side to the P side is the I photon and this I photon will flow in this direction and this voltage that will be produced between these two terminal is called the V O C. So, this V O C is the open circuit voltage of that solar cell. Similarly, the important parameter or the second parameter of the solar cell is the short circuit current and the short circuit current looks like this and it is denoted by I S C. So, we have a solar cell like this. So, this is the P side, this is the N side. So, in place of the load resistance, we have just short circuited the R L and now the current amount of current is flowing that is the I photon, this I photon will be called as the short circuit current. So, the current through it is the I short circuit. So, this I short circuit and the V O C is the two important parameter of the solar cell. So, the next parameter that is important for the solar cell is the field factor of the solar cell. So, let us see what is the field factor for the solar cell. The field factor for the solar cell is defined by this way that field factor will be the ratio of the maximum voltage power maximum obtained power that is the P max divided by the V O C that is the open circuit voltage and short circuit current. Similarly, another parameter is there and which is very important for a solar cell that is the efficiency of a solar cell. Efficiency of a solar cell is defined by the maximum obtained power, maximum obtained power that is the P max divided by capital G into A, where G is the input light. in watts per meter square and A 
is the surface area of the solar cell in meter square. So, this G and A are not in our hand, the efficiency can be obtained from this equation by calculating the P max and the G and A. Now, let us calculate what will be the V i characteristics of a solar cell. So, the V i characteristics of a solar cell can be drawn in this fashion. So, if it is the voltage axis and if this is the current axis, then the plot of the V i or the V i characteristics will look like this. The value of the current here and the value of the voltage are very important with respect to this solar cell. The voltage value here it is called as V o c, because at this point the solar cell has no I photon. So, I am terming as open circuit voltage and at this point the voltage is 0. So, it is the short circuit current. Now, this is the V i characteristics of the diode and V o c is the open circuit voltage and I s c is the short circuit current. So, generally this voltage versus I characteristics should be positive because it is delivering some power. So, we can say that since solar cell is a power delivering device. So, the solar cell power value must be at the fourth quadrant. But for simplicity, we have drawn the curve in the first quadrant. So, this is all about the solar cell of p n junction device. Hence, this is all about the solar cell operation principle. Thank you.